Hey guys, welcome to me reacting to Why I Don't Like Reading by Jaden Animations. Now, this is... Wow, that's relatable. <laughs> Honestly, I actually have an opinion about books and why I actually don't even like books. And the main reason why is because they can't be subtle, and I think that's a big problem. Well, <laughs> yeah, the main reason why I just don't like books is that it's like, yeah... It's hard to visualize it sometimes. Not only that, yeah, they have to describe literally everything and like who, which character is saying what. So it's really annoying. It's like a lot of times you can't just have moments where moments of silence or anything like that. I think that's why I like film and all that stuff is like a lot of the times there are brilliant moments where they just use expressions to show, to tell a story. And you can't do that at all with books. Like you actually have to describe what's going on. Like it that, and I think that's the main that's the main problem with books is like it's hard to be subtle. And I think that's why I don't like books is subtlety is just a thing that is it, it's hard to come by and with books. But yeah, anyways, guys, original in the description makes sure to Jane and makes some like subscription so description. Anyways, let's get right into it. Reading books, libraries. Mm -hmm. It's all boring. I don't know if that's an unpopular opinion yeah. or not, but when I was growing up, it was pretty normal. But now I always hear people gush about how great it is to bundle up in a warm blanket with, quote, a good book, while the faint light yeah. of the fall evening peeks out of their cracked windows and hits their collection of plants perfectly. They've got a warm cup of chamomile tea they've prepared with the Keurig they use daily, and actually, it's a funny story. They were about to get one at Target because they were on sale, but they received one as a gift instead. <laughs> what a cool coincidence <laughs> and they have a cat i'm not saying that isn't a poetic life you've got going on over there but i still don't like reading and have a cat allergy it's kind of complicated damn <laughs> uh <laughs> don't know why i just did that don't know why i just said that um but um yeah i mean uh eh, kind of diving into stereotypes right there and eh, yeah kind of just diving into a stereotype right there i mean Sure, stereotypes can be true, but, I mean, I mean, I guess the stereotype is kind of true, but, I mean, it's very, very specific. Very specific. The thought of reading sounds really nice to me. It's supposed to be calming and good for your brain in oh, some yeah. sort of way. I don't know how exactly, but people repeat it all the time, so it might be true. But I think I've got some weird reading PTSD oh, from warriors. because the other part of my brain thinks about how boring and slow and too quiet it's going to be, and I feel like I have to take notes and memorize things oh, yeah. and identify the plot points and know the names and symbolisms and to kill a mockingbird. And oh, Yeah, God, was see, <laughs> here's the thing. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, mm, mm. All right, uh, paused it on that. What? Okay, yeah, that's probably a thumbnail shot. But, um, yeah, the thing is about reading is, like, it's harder to analyze, I think, compared to film, because, again, you can't see it visually. Like, and that, and I, that's another thing, is, like, you always have to analyze it. Like, I like analyzing movies because it's fun, because, like, there, yeah, there's, like, actual, like, stuff. Like, there's details put in into stuff. That's good, obviously. Like, lazy stuff is not good, because there's barely... Any, well, there can be detail, but not much. But, like, when it comes to film, y there's subtlety. And, like, you know, you can, like, analyze it. Like, there, there are things that, are, that can be put in there in film, because, like, you can just show it visually, where it's with books, you have to imagine it. So it's a lot harder to analyze. And I think that's why... That's why it's in... That's why you freaking do it in schools. And I think that's why I hate it. Yeah, that's why I freaking hate it. I'm supposed to read All right, up you know to what? chapter seven by Thursday or through it. I used to love reading. Oh yeah. I have the strong memory of going to my elementary school's library okay. and being excited to check out the next Geronimo Stilton book because I love the pictures and their picture text books. They had. Yeah. They always wrote the word cheese like this, and being able to read books that had more than ten words on the page was impressive to a six-year-old. Whenever I found a book yeah. I liked growing up, I would read it nonstop. I was able to crush a three-hundred pager in two days, which I don't think is considered impressive. 
impressive anymore. But it was in fifth grade, and look, that was the only self worth I had. All right. But when oh, school started true. making us read books by force, it kind of took the fun away from me. I don't like being well, yeah. with my free time, especially Animal if you're gonna form. make me read a book written in the 1940s that I need cliff notes to decode just to realize that all the animals were communists. Oh, yeah, they are. 20% of my grade. I, I get it, though. What else are we gonna yeah. You know, it's really fun reading Shakespeare. Yeah, I know. Honestly, just remember that. Yeah. It, I think everyone has read Shakespeare. I, I, um, you know, ist, ah, ah, yeah, all that, fun, like, yeah, all that broken English, honestly. Like, it, yeah, it really makes me mad, in my opinion, when it comes to, like, reading Shakespeare, because... You know, it's Shakespeare, their plays, their visual. Not only that, they're made into movies because they're originally plays. Why are we reading a script? Like, oh shoot, hopefully it's sirens, hopefully, just in case if people can hear that. But, um, yeah, like, why, why are we reading a script when there are visual representations? Like, that, that, that's stupid to me, is that, like, why would you turn something visual into written? Like, why would you read a script? It just doesn't make sense to me. We do an English class. We can all understand each other, right? We're speaking English. I, oh, that's got to count for something, right? Nobody can Before write. Or, yeah, nobody can write though. In my spare time, where the symbolism is yeah, in nobody the color can write, of the main though. characters' curtains, and I'm not even observing. Is that Romeo? To that's Romeo and Juliet. Let me yeah, 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 yeah. Romeo fun. and Juliet. Hey, I was just I talking about that. Like an idiot. I like my subtlety, like I like my coffee. Uh, splash in my face. How am I supposed to know what the A stands for? Literally, literally, just. Literally, oh my god, she just said it. Literally just what I'm talking about. Like, there's no subtlety to books. There's like, well, there can be some, I guess. But like, there's no, it just feels like there's no subtlety to books. So it just feels like a splash in the face. Where it's like, exactly. That's exactly what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Adultery. I don't know. I, it could mean a woman, for all I know. Asparagus. But all that isn't anything <laughs> new. Everyone complains about English assignments. Everyone hates reading the scarlet letter. Everyone thinks school should die. However, something that also locked mm. in my disdain yeah. for reading was my mom. Well... Hi, Wait, Mom. What? Of course, as a parent, you don't want your child to do nothing but play video games all day. That obviously leads to undeniable life failure. So what's the solution? Yeah, what the Make hell? Make them read more. And on paper, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Honestly, I'll probably use that parenting but technique execution. too. When applicable. I think my mom made the obvious good parenting decision. But as the victim here, I believe I fell in the small minority where it had the overall opposite effect. During summer vacation, my oh, mom yeah. would always tell me that I needed to read at least two books so I don't forget how to read. Whenever my mom would walk in on my brother and I playing Mario Kart together in the living room, she would ask hey. if we've read yet today, which we would respond no, because reading's for chumps and then she'd lock us in our rooms to be chumps. I started hating reading so much, I would rather do literally nothing than read a book. There were a couple summers where I faked reading entire books because I just didn't want to read that much. There was this one about dragons, I think, called The Secret Country, and I still remember that just looking at the cover would put me in a bad mood because of hatred association. <laughs> Screw your secret country. When I was being forced to read, I would sit angrily on my bed, open the book, move the bookmark a reasonable amount forward to make it look like I read, and then just sit there for 30 minutes staring at it. It was boring, Tch. and I don't know what was wrong with me. I could have had at least a decent hey. time trying to read the hey. damn book, yeah. but I guess hey. it turned yeah. into a dignity thing. Actually, the ironic part is maybe a year or so later, I decided to restart the same book and give it another shot on my own terms. And I finished it in two days. It was pretty good. I did it again with another book called Molly Moon and the Morphing Mystery. It's like the fifth book in this Molly Moon series. Uh, it's been a while, so I don't really remember the story, but it's about this orphan who can hypnotize people and has a pug. Anyway, it's funky because hey. I actually read the first few books of the series on my own and remember really liking them. I would read them any chance I got. But as soon as I was forced to read this one, I just decided I'd rather literally waste my time and sit alone or exactly parent. see that's see that's another thing i think that's why people do, an, that's another thing it's a that's a psychological paradox right there is that like 
well, not really a paradox, but more of a psychological rule, I guess, is that humans don't like being forced to do things. So, and especially, it, definitely when it comes to reading, because, like, some people might just be, like, fine reading on their own terms, but, like, yeah, especially when it comes to school, like, yeah, if you're being forced to read something, and I think, again, that also goes into my theory on, on it being biased, where it's, like, because I think everybody knows the fact that the teacher kind of makes the curriculum, and that, and it makes the students feel like, what's the point of really reading this because, you know, I'm being forced to read it because the teacher loves it. Like, exactly. I think that's, that's a point there. It, it's a, it's my psychological theory. But this time I never went back to read it. I, I think that might have been the point of no return for me. <laughs> I think the association of reading as a necessity or some sort of punishment has deep rooted itself in me. And now I just feel like reading isn't fun or I'm in trouble for something even though I live alone. I've tried listening to audiobooks, but honestly, they make me feel really lonely. I don't know why. It might be the lack of visuals. I like pictures. Yeah, that that lack of visuals. It's the same with music. Because lack of uh, subtlety. I've never been a big music person, so whenever I try to sit down and do something while listening to music, it somehow enhances this feeling of being alone and like time is going by slower, which makes me uncomfortable. Oh. So I always have either oh. YouTube videos or more recently Twitch streams in the background. I'm still not super oh. used to Twitch yet. That's not how I feel. Yeah, when I edit videos, I do like, I put lo-fi, yeah, lo-fi music in the back. Just because, yeah, it does it does waste time, but honestly, it just makes me feel more relaxed. And, yeah, it kind of makes me feel like I'm less, you know, bored. Because I'm just like, ah, oh, yay. <laughs> just makes me feel more, yeah, feel better. But I like Ryukar's stuff. He plays Mario Maker. Sometimes I wish I read more. It might be good for me to slow down instead of always consuming fast-paced content on the internet. But on the other hand, I think it's just a preference I have that's been cemented with bad association. If you like reading, I think that's really great. I've got a lot of friends who like reading, and it's cool that you've got a really nice hobby you can fall back on to de-stress or however you people feel while staring at words all day. I was gonna say you should yeah. recommend a good book I should give a try, but I took a second to think about if I would actually try to read any suggestions, and being real with myself, the answer is no. <laughs> so, uh, enjoy that, that chamomile tea. Honestly, this video was good. I feel like I predicted a lot of things she said, because it's, it's just relatable, I guess. That's And I think that's the main reason why I, I don't think there's a small minor, minority. I just think there is just some people who don't like. Funny enough, she did actually mention, she actually did have Warriors. Yeah, I have Warriors, but I don't even read it. It's just like I have it, but like, that's the thing. Like, and I'm, I'm a person who likes cats, but like Warriors has just never really interested me like that much. I mostly like reading the stuff, like I actually like writing, so I, I mostly am interested in the stuff that I write, not really the stuff I read. So, uh, yeah, anyways guys, enjoy the like and music on my channel, see you in the next one, bye!